May 8. God's deliverance. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Matthew 6:13. Our Lord couples his own prayer with ours when he says, Pray, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We remember that he was led into the wilderness by the Spirit, that he might be tempted, and that in all points he was tempted like as we are, though in his case there was no sin. It is wonderful to know that by some marvelous oneness of nature the Son of God himself pursued the dreaded track of temptation. And while we have this moral nature which links us, upon the one hand, to the eternal Christ, our Captain, who has gone through the same ordeal, we are also linked to every other man, woman, and child the world over. For, though we might suppose that there were such diversities of life that some might be secure of an immunity from temptation, yet a closer inspection of our common lot reveals the fact that it is inevitable to us all. Temptation creeps into the sick chamber equally as into the heyday of our health. It finds its way into the seclusion of the student even as it dogs the steps of the man of the world doing his business. It comes to the minister, with its tendency to elation or despondency, as well as to the criminal, to the poor as well as to the rich. There is no life, however guarded, that is not exposed to the blast and sirocco of temptation. Therefore we utter this prayer as one as. But let us take heart. Remember it is the Father to whom this prayer is addressed. He made us, and knows just what we can stand, he loves us, and his tender succour is always by our side. He draws near, saying, I am with you in this dark valley, and am able to make you stand, I would not have brought you here had I not counted the cost. I am able to be a very present help in this time of trouble. I have carried others through this ordeal, and I can carry you, only keep near my side, look away from the tempter to my face, cease to trust yourself and depend absolutely upon me, and I, who brought you to this testing place, will lead you out. Be of good cheer. See, there awaits you the crown which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give to each soldier who has stood true to him in the hour of trial and you could not get that if you did not bear this. It is because I want you to win that I am giving you the chance of this hard fight. Prayer Father, be it so, my heart and my flesh fail, but thou art the strength of my heart, and my portion forever. Forbid that we should be overcome with evil, help us to overcome evil with good. Amen.